This video has been classified by the ABC as PG. Last month, a nationwide Hungry Beast survey found that while 80% of Australians support the government's proposed clean feed internet filter, more than 90% believe they should be able to know what sites are going to be blocked. Well, I guess those people should count their lucky stars they don't live in China. Here's Mark Fennell. All this talk about the brand new Australian internet clean feed sounds very draconian, but if you're going to build a firewall, do it properly. Do it like China. Many countries censor the net, but China has by far the most impressive censorship program. It employs more than 30,000 internet police. They even export cyber surveillance technology to Cuba, Zimbabwe and Belarus. It's called the Great Firewall of China. And really, it's nothing like a wall at all. Think Alcatraz, a maximum security prison with multiple fences on a remote island. Firstly, all of the websites from around the world are funneled through just nine national gateways. Past that, and yet, fence number one, IP blocking. Now, this one's all about controlling what people upload. So every computer has a unique address. It's called an IP address. In China, every one of them is monitored. Now, if they detect something they don't like, everything from that particular computer is blocked. Then, when it comes to controlling what people download, there is fence number two, keyword filtering. So that little address bar at the top of your browser, whole internet pages, search engines, the government can scan what you type in there looking for keywords. So if you were to type in, say, Tibet or Tiananmen or Asian pussy, you'd probably get this. And it is a long list of subjects that'll get you this reaction. You think about these guys? Yep, that'll get it. I definitely don't look him up. Uh, don't even bother to access sites like BBC Chinese or Wikipedia or... <laughs> you, you're kidding, right? But the most powerful brick in the Great Firewall isn't a piece of technology at all. Over the years, the Chinese have instituted a formidable culture of self-censorship. If you own a website hosting company, for example, you're held responsible for its content. So every provider hires staff, dubbed Big Mamas, to find offending content on their sites and harmonise it. <coughs> Blocked. But it's not just local companies that filter the net in China. For years, Google voluntarily filtered search results. In fact, searches for banned religious sect the Falun Gong would only lead you to condemning articles. Although Google have threatened to stop filtering results, Yahoo still do, and much more. In 2001, Yahoo passed on the user details and emails of a Chinese journalist, Wang Xianing, to the authorities. He's in jail now, sentenced for 10 years. But as strong and powerful as the Great Firewall is, it's not insurmountable. Every day, people scale the wall using illegal software. However, the greatest sign of protest against internet censorship is, believe it or not, this guy, the Grass Mud Horse. Sounds fairly innocuous. In fact, it's also pretty harmless when you write it down in Mandarin. But when you pronounce it, as they do in this very cute YouTube video, it translates to F your mother's cut, a subtlety that skipped the Chinese censors. And now the grass mud horse has been adopted as a symbol of rebellion amongst Chinese net users, inspiring hundreds of videos and websites. So there you go, the largest, most innovative digital shield in the globe and the foul-mouthed animal that jumped it.